When using Copilot to help with my coding, I often find that I like the first part of its suggestions, but don't necessarily want to accept the entire thing. Thankfully, VS Code makes it easy to accept Copilot suggestions word by word. You can use this to accept just the part of the suggestion that you're interested in, and then continue typing to tweak the suggestions that Copilot is going to return. Let's take a look at how you can do this. So going back to our example here, we're going to implement a class called counter in TypeScript. And all we had to do was type class counter, and now Copilot is helpfully suggesting what the rest of the method body here should actually be. Now, if we like this suggestion, we could press tab, and Copilot is going to go and fill in the rest of the class. Now, the other option is that we can instead accept the suggestion word by word. So if we just like the first part of the suggestion or are wanting to tweak things further, we can go and accept the individual words in the suggestion. To do that, I'm going to hold down Control on Windows and Linux or Command on Mac and then press the right arrow key. So again, holding down Control or Command and then pressing the right arrow key. You can see that after pressing the right arrow key, Copilot has accepted the first word of the suggestion, which in this case is the opening brace of the class here. If I continue holding down Control or Command and pressing the right arrow key, you'll see that I'm continuing to accept additional words in the current suggestion. So as we're going through here, notice how the suggestions were going from the faded out text here to the normal text of code in the file, which means that we have actually accepted those and they are now part of our normal code and no longer a Copilot suggestion. Once I'm done, I can either just start typing or press the escape key to actually go and hide the current suggestions. However, you can also use this feature to iterate on ideas and kind of incrementally build up what you want using Copilot for assistance. So for this, I'm going to actually accept the current suggestion for counter, and then let's go in here and add a documentation method to the count property here. So I'll add a js.comment. You can see that Copilot is currently suggesting some text, not too useful, so I'll start typing. And now Copilot is suggesting what the rest of this documentation should be. Now, if I like the current suggestion, I could just go and start accepting the first part of it. So again, I'm going to hold down Control or Command and start pressing right arrow until I get up to the part of the suggestion that I like. Notice how Copilot is also suggesting a closing period here. Now, instead of accepting that, I can just continue typing to further influence what Copilot is going to suggest. So I could say the current counter, and you see that after typing ER, now Copilot is suggesting that the next word should be value. And once I like that, I can press tab, and now I've wrapped things up. The nice thing about this is that I didn't have to rely on Copilot having the perfect suggestion right from the start. Instead, I could kind of set it in the right direction, accept a few words or lines from the suggestion that get me closer to what I want, and then kind of further refine it by typing my own text. In this case, I only had to type a few additional letters to guide it in the direction that I wanted to. I find that accepting suggestions word by word and then continuing to type to guide Copilot in the direction I want is a whole lot more productive than accepting an entire Copilot suggestion and then having to go back and edit it. So that's a look at how you can accept Copilot suggestions word by word in VS Code.